All right, hello everyone, and now welcome to a game between Infi and Lin. This game going to be taking place here on Last Refuge as Infi has spawned as the blue human player over here on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Lin has spawned as well. I'm going to switch colors just so I can keep track of that Blade Master on the mini map. I do know, well, this blue, yep, yeah. oh yeah, perfect. Blue is in fact down over here, which matches up over here. Good, the colors match. The population count and everything is working not what you meant <laughs> all right let's see how everything is gonna go down in this particular matchup thank you for everyone on twitch who have been waiting for me to sign on always love streaming on twitch um, being able to interact with people is nice sometimes it feels like i'm casting and talking to a room full of no one and it's hard to build off of that energy so um, having some twitch viewers um, always very very interesting it is going to be infi versus lin in this matchup those are the players now and we are going to see a farseer first all right farseer first in this matchup i am already looking forward to it um orc versus a uh, human in this 1v1 matchup. We'll see if we are going to be getting up an arcane tower. A lot of the time, human players, at least not on the PTR, they don't get that arcane tower because they're not expecting spirit wolves. Spirit wolves are potentially or very, very deadly going up against um, these peasants because they have medium armor and the spirit wolves actually do a fair bit of damage. Now, the militia can easily fight back. But at the same time, on the PTR, those Spirit Wolves hardly give any experience. So we'll see how all of that is going to be going down. It is going to be an Archmage coming across from the Human Player. No big surprise there, as we're sitting at a 22 to 17 supply. Um, as we see a very, very quick tech to Tier 2. Alright, Stronghold before Barracks usually means that we should be going into Wind Riders, interestingly enough. Um, very, very fast bestiary play. We are going to be getting that barracks down now after the stronghold has been started. You are, um, I'm not quite sure why you need that second orc burrow. Sintra sitting at 17 over 20 for so, so long. Lynn opening things up with a very... Love the stream, by the way. Thank you for watching. I lo love you guys for watching as well. As the Spirit Wolves are now going to make their way out. Spirit Wolf going to take a little bit of damage here. Is it going to be able to slip through? Yes, it will. And now you see the Scout Tower is already being built, already being upgraded to an Arcane Tower. The Spirit Wolf is going to try and do some damage here, or at least try and buy some time away from that Archmage, as the Wolves are just putting in a lot of pressure. Are we going to see them resummoned? That is the question. Yes, they are, as the Foot men are now going to force to engage them outside here beautiful micro coming across from the from the spirit wolves as you can take a look the low hit point wolves are backing off and this wouldn't be a problem except for the fact that the spirit wolves i believe actually give the same amount of experience as footmen which does add up extremely extremely fast all right, let's see how all of this is going to go down here. Archmage, oh, aggroing the creeps, going to try and pull the units away. Not going to be able to do so as we take a look. Archmage off to the cross over here. Now, M militia now making their way off to the north. Are we going to see a little bit more harassment? Yes, we are. And this time, the Farseer is ready to get in some damage. Far Archmage taking a lot of damage already, being forced to pull back out as the Farseer was trying to steal a little bit of experience right there. Is it going to be able to get some experience? No. Denied once more. Meanwhile, the Rock Golem does get taken down by the Archmage getting to level 2. Farseer has taken far too much damage, but back across inside the base, Militia fighting up against some, um, well, the Spirit Wolves right off here. Now... We do see the Voodoo Lounge stronghold is nearly completed as the Farseer will be forced to retreat and heal back up. That is going to be a problem for that Farseer since he doesn't have that much experience and he's going up against a level 2, potentially level 3 Archmage in his very next matchup. Now, Farseer, what is he going to be doing for this follow-up play? You see Forest Troll Berserker and Forest Troll Shadow Priest is already out. No, I do not want to do that. I've already restarted my computer. Thank you, Norton, for being absolutely annoying. Um, as we're looking at the Forest Troll Trapper is about to get taken down there. Now, how all of this is going to be played out? The Farseer needs to heal back up. Picks up some healing salves, clarity potion, 
no big surprise here as the Farsi are finally able to join in on the fight and get on the board with experience just shy of level two but he is going to be going up against well a rather impressive army coming from lin already there you go spirit wolf is it going to get taken down yes it does torrent chieftain is already out onto the field are you perhaps going to get stomp or shockwave that is going to be the big question there as a big shockwave goes across multiple units all right big shockwave right there torrent chieftain does have a clarity potion is he going to perhaps pick up um, a potion of mana as well as that damage is going to get higher and higher. Shockwave finishes off a Forest Troll Shadow Priest as the Torrent Chieftain looking for additional targets. That Forest Troll Shadow Priest was an important target as that Footman still long overdue to be dead. Farsi, you're just going to go ahead and finish that off there. Gets up to level 2. Are we perhaps going to see a Chain Lightning now? As we're looking at a big, big repair getting underway. All right, more repairs. Orc Burrow now taken down. However, the footmen are going to be lost as well. As you can take a look, a large bit of damage coming across on both sides. Archmage relatively low on mana. Water Elementals chasing after those Spirit Wolves as they are going to get taken down as well. Two level 2 Water Elementals doing big, big damage. Meanwhile, back across over here, Archmage with that Devotion or a taking reduced damage as the Spirit Walkers perhaps are going to be getting some Disenchants here. All right, still, nope, still at Initiate Trading, unable to get any more Disenchants as another Orc Burrow going to get taken down. Orc Burrows are being lost. Footmen, where are they going to go? Torrent Chieftain, low on mana still, as the low hit point Grunt trying to hide, but unable to do so. He's going to get taken down, no deny there. Archmage still sitting at level 3, as the Footman now running out of this fight, knowing that the home field advantage is going to start to tick in favor of the Orc, since there are no longer any more Water Elementals. Alright, Raider is out onto the field as well. It was just a quick tech to tier 2 into spirit lodge bestiary you can take a look water elementals coming in once again footman gonna destroy and cancel another orc burrow as we are now looking at more damage coming across torrent chieftain is it going to be able to get a big shockwave yes it does get a shockwave across some units there again as the torrent chieftain now in a little bit of trouble where is he going to go is he going to be able to back off torrent chieftain picks up a potion of healing gets up to level two should get endurance aura and now the faster movement speed and attack speed should come back to help again meanwhile water elemental going after this orc burrow and i believe infi is just overstaying his welcome his losses are going to get higher and higher as the Farseer is going to get stronger and stronger. Here, let's take a look at this. Going in into the ethereal form, purposely blocking or trying to block some of those units once more as the Water Elemental could get taken down. Water Elemental taken down by the Orc Burrow, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Raider does get an ensnare off. And even though there was tremendous losses by the Orc, the population count showing 28 over 42 compared to 31 over 20. More Orc Burrows will be added. But with that said, I believe Lin is actually in a good spot. Infi needs to follow up this play. Did he get to tier 2? Yes, he did. He is getting dual arcane sanctums and a mountain king. No big surprise. Meanwhile, what is the Farseer and the Torin Chieftain going to follow up with? Spellbreaker is incredibly powerful in this matchup as it will pretty much um, stop the Torin Chieftain's shockwave. And if the Farseer is trying to go chain lightning, chain wave is incredibly ineffective against magic immune units, obviously. Ogre Magi going to get taken down. Potion of Invulnerability now dropped here as we are seeing more units now looking to battle it out. All right, Forest Troll Trapper going to go ahead, get in and snare off onto a peon. No real big difference there. Meanwhile, the Farseer sitting at level 3 will get level 2 Spirit Wolves as the Torrent Chieftain is now getting healed back up. 40 over 34. And I believe there was a quick scout to make sure that there was no expansion in play. And Lin has to breathe a sigh of relief knowing that he is not that far behind. Now... Still no Lumber Mill as of yet. We're going to take a look. Raider's going to come across, get some ensnares off onto some units. Spirit Wolves taking some big damage. Chain Lightning followed up, and that was absolutely huge right there as the Water Elementals are going to end up falling. Can the Farseer get another big Chain Lightning Chain Wave off? Torrent Chieftain at level 3. There's a big Shock Wave once more. We could see another Chain Lightning perhaps onto that Priest right there. No, does not get taken down. Spirit Link cast across multiple units as this Spirit Walker needs to get away. Mountain 
Ancient King may try to go after a Storm Bolt here. Let's take a look. Big Squirrel of Healing coming across once again. Speed Squirrel now being used as the Mountain King at 280 hit points. Is it going to die with the Ankh of Reincarnation? That would be horrible to waste it on a level 1 Mountain King as the Spirit Wolves are now going to town here. Torrent Chieftain seeing that 707 mana. Let's take a or sorry, 707 hit points. Now trying to back away, losing a bit of mana from that arcane tower as the Farseer and the Spirit Walkers are going to continue this fight once more. Water Elemental now dropped back out again. Disenchant going across. Spirit Link now being cast as well. As you see, well, that's Raider trying to get away, and it looks like it will be able to do exactly that. Torrent Chieftain low on mana once more, probably wishing that it did not get hit by that arcane tower right now as the Spirit Walkers are trying to back away. Beautiful Storm Bolt coming in from the Mountain King as the Mountain King back up into decent hit point range again. The Spirit Wolves are getting in some big critical strikes. There is another, sh um, what, a chain or shockwave going across. No chain lightning from the Farseer, perhaps waiting to get to level four. Level four all of a sudden would change things up a bit as the Raiders and the remaining units do need to back off. Torrent Chieftain with that speed scroll turning things back around. There's an ensnare. Mountain King getting up to level two. It could get taken down. There it goes. Ankh of Reincarnation doesn't give experience as the Mountain King will be coming back. All right. Mountain King is back. Stormbolt. Uh, does the Mountain King? Yeah, now using a Clarity Potion, there is a big retreat underway as all the units are backing off here. Hello, Tuna Fish 92 how are you doing? Uh, Torrent Chieftain now looking to back off here. Lone Peon, I'm keeping track of all of this right now. What is he doing as the Spirit Wolf, well, disappears into, well, nothing. No real reason to summon it. The, the time life was nearly done as the Torrent Chieftain now looking to back up again. Perhaps Scroll of Healing will be purchased. Not getting to level 4 was, in fact, a big deal. ZX Cox, thank you. Hi, how are you doing? As the Torrent Chieftain up on the high ground looking to get to level 4. Farsi, you're going to buy... Perhaps some uh, Scrolls of Regeneration Clarity Potion needs to get up onto the high ground to get that necessary experience as well as it desperately wants to get to level 4. Torrent Chieftain taking a little bit of damage right now. Gonna wait until this Creep Clamp is completely cleared before you apply in that Healing Salve. And now a level 3 Torrent Chieftain, maybe level 4 once this Ogre Magi goes down. Oh, poor taken down right there. Mana Stone, Torrent Chieftain just shy of level 4. Now, Archmage, Mountain King, 4-2, going up against a 4-3, soon to be 4-4. Supply counts 40 compared to 46. Orc has a slight advantage, but human players, well, human players, big tenacity, perhaps getting some spellbreakers could get some big damage here as we see an, an ensnare go down onto the Archmage. Archmage in serious trouble, being forced to use a Scroll of Town Portal as all of the units are now going to head away across here. Scroll of Town Portal, quickly used up Water Elemental. Well, off to the north. Is it going to get taken down? No, Archmage, or excuse me, Farsi, are going to use this opportunity to try and clear up this creep camp here. Water Elemental quickly going to get taken down by the Raiders and the Spirit Wolves. Down it goes. It goes as the Torrin Chieftain does get to level 4. Torrin Chieftain does have that potion or that mana stone, which is going to help tremendously get more shockwaves. But how effective is the shockwave going to be later on in this game? If the Torrin Chieftain can get to that back line, that is going to be a very, very big difference. Hey, Tass. Hey, Acerate. Nice to see you guys. If he can get to that back line, line up against those Sorceress and those Priests, all of a sudden, without support, those Spellbreakers are significantly weaker. Mountain King, however, with Bloodlust, going to be able to finish off the remainder of this Creep Camp fairly fast as we're now looking at the Raiders' Spirit Walkers, making their way over. All right, Raiders are going to go ahead and try and uh, dive on into this location. Torrent Chieftain does have a good amount of mana, not going to be able to shockwave very much. Farseer now looks to back away and um, taking a little bit too much damage there. There is a chain lightning across multiple units. Torrent Chieftain gets in a shockwave, finishes off a peasant as well as the Farseer now looks to pull back. Stormbolt onto the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain in a little bit of trouble, going to lose a lot of mana here as the Spellbreaker is now looking to back up again. Could use a Potion of Invulnerability, does in fact use it and no, Scroll of Town Portal instead. Raider not going to be able to escape in time, but losing that Arcane Vault, which will halt Spellbreaker production. Is this PTR? No, this is not PTR. At least I do not believe so. Um, 
There is Farseer. There is Torrin Chieftain. I, I actually don't know if this is taken from the PTR. It is a NetEase replay. So I don't know if the NetEase client automatically switches between PTR and non-PTR patches. Uh, that's actually a really good question since we are looking at a Farseer first. Now... Let's take a look back down across here. Mud Gold. I'm going to go ahead and get ensnared once more. Trying to pull all of these units back. You see some Spirit Wolves going to try to make their way across. And perhaps get some damage onto some of these peasants here. All right. In comes the engagement. Meanwhile, back down to the south. Good surround onto that unit. As the Mountain King pick... Or excuse me. The Torrent Chieftain picking up Rune Bracers. And will be able to take more Storm Bolts. And not be phased by it nearly as much. Forest Troll Trappers. Forest Troll, High Priest, all that are left. Water Elemental, quickly going to get ensnared. You see, well, what's going down here? Torrent Chieftain, well, unable to read the tomes. And the Mountain King, visiting the library often. Picking up a Tome of Strength and a Tome of Intelligence. And getting to level 4. Oh, big, big deals right there. Also, um... Circlet of Nobility is down across here. Yeah, uh, it, it's not widescreen, but then again, I don't know how the NetEase client works in terms of widescreen or not widescreen since it is a PTR um, or it is the NetEase client as opposed to the official Warcraft 3 client. Anyway, Squirrel of Town Portal already being used by the Archmage. You can see, take a look, they are going to be teleporting back home as all the units are backing up again. You also know that there is, in fact, an expansion off over here and this expansion is giving, well, Lynn a tremendous advantage. Farseer and Torrin Chieftain sitting at four each. Meanwhile, Archmage is sitting at five. And I believe the Mountain King is sitting at four. Infi has closed the gap and actually taken a lead in the overall experience. But Lynn has the, well, army size advantage. Torrin Chieftain going to finish off the Forest Troll right there. Farseer. And that Torrent Chieftain both incredibly close to level 5. As we're going to see the remainder of this creep camp now getting cleared up. Alright, Ogre Magi going to get taken down. Torrent Chieftain not going to be able to get to the next level. Is the Torrent Chieftain, does he have a Squirrel Town Portal? Yes, he does. Units are just going to be rushing on in. Could, in fact, try and Squirrel of Town Portal onto all of these units. It would be a great spot to be in. There you go. There's the Torrent Chieftain in Snare. For, are, are the Spirit Wolves going to be able to do anything? Trying to reposition as the Orc Burrows are taking some big damage. All right. Disenchant right there as the Spirit Wolves getting taken down. Priest able to disenchant and remove that pretty much instantaneously. Meanwhile, Wind Riders are getting added and thrown into the mix as well. Here we go. There's the engagement. Sorcerer is going to try and engage. Torrent Chieftain gets a shockwave to that back line. Farseer gets in with a chain lightning onto more units. Thunderclap going down across more as we see Squirrels of Healing being used as well. Torrent Chieftain could turn back around. There's a big thunderclap across multiple units again as the Mountain King perhaps going to try and finish off that Raider. Raider, however, unable to hide up onto that high ground. Another big thunderclap once more. Farseer gets the level 5. And a level 5 Farseer with, well... And um, all of that, um, all of that lightning, chain lightning can actually do a lot of damage. Level 5 Torrent Chieftain, level 5 Farseer, chain wave at its best. Absolutely just uh, the thunder or just absolutely demolishing that back line as I predicted. Mountain King trying to use Thunderclaps as much as possible to try and save units. As you take a look, Torrent Chieftain, does it have enough mana? Yes, it does. There goes another. And you can take a look. That Torrent Chieftain is hungry for Sorceress Blood. Is it going to be able to get there? No, it is not. As the Farseer says, you know what? I'll finish this off. Bunch of dead Sorceress. That Chain Lightning dealing so much damage. As you can take a look, Torrent Chieftain, Farseer, demolishing that back line. Wind Riders, 43 supply compared to 45. An army of Spellbreakers going up against an army of Grunts. But somehow the Torrent Chieftain now does need to retreat. No more mana. That mana stone has been used up. All right. Archmage trying to bring up the rear here. You can take a look. Water Elemental going to try and finish off that Wind Rider. Wind Rider going to be able to retreat all the way back. Let's take a look. Grunt, well, taking a bit far too much damage as we're going to be looking at um, well, Spirit Walker trying to head back. There goes another uh, chain wave coming across. However, Thunderclap does do big damage as you can take a look at it right there. Torn Chieftain does have a potion of mana. Can use that potion of mana at any given time as you can take a look still. Wind Rider is doing more chasing again 
as the spirit walkers, well, are in a bit of trouble. Potion of invulnerability used in time to save the Mountain King. However, the Archmage being forced to use it one as well. Are these grunts going to get taken out? No. A 44 hit point and 25 hit point grunt are saved. All right, a beautiful game between these two players, but Lin is now starting to inch ahead. Level 5 on the Torrin Chieftain, level 5 on the Farseer, both of them halfway to level 6. Archmage, almost level 6 as well. Did the Mountain King level up? No, the Mountain King didn't get enough kills. That is the big indicator. 51 supply compared to 43 right now as well. One extra peon is actually getting you less gold as we're finally getting in more and more workers. Voodoo Lounge. A second Voodoo Lounge being added. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. I believe he was trying to go for a lumber mill there. Water Elemental quickly taken down. And you cannot give your opponent free units when your opponent is at level 5. Once your opponent is at level 5, you know that they cannot creep and cannot get to ultimates unless they get higher up. There's a Shockwave, Chain Lightning, so much damage coming across multiple units there. Big Thunderclap here, Torrent Chieftain. Potion of Invulnerability is going to last long enough to get another big Shockwave down. Yes, Sorceress, Chain Lightning going back across again. And that Farseer doing such a great job, but realizing, you know what? I do not want to stick around for this fight. Squirrel of Town Portal and a 22 hit point and 55 hit point Water Elemental survive. All right, Farseer just shy of six. Torrent Chieftain on his way to six. Those two Water Elementals would have been juicy, juicy bits of experience. But instead, well, not going to be at level six just quite yet. 44 supply compared to 39. Main gold mines have been mined out. 24 seconds left off over here. And that is my friend, should be the game with no expansion coming in from Infi and Infi being behind on supply unless things go incredibly well for that Mountain King who is now sitting at level 5. I cannot see how that could um, come to an end here. All right, Illusion now making its way off to the north. It is going to go ahead and scout out that location. Uh, all right, quick way to check. Okay, it's just an Illusion. You see one of Illusion, two charges left on that wand of illusion not gonna even bother to chase it oh you could totally do a mind fake right like totally walk across with an illusion uh, with a real one but not actually show it water elemental now getting some damage onto these peons off over here farseer with a potion of mana torrent chieftain without one but still sitting at 220 mana right now he's gonna be in a good spot a quick ensnare onto a water elemental. Farseer will get to level 6. The Torrent Chief. Oh, the Torrent Chief can actually comes back. Stealing a bit of experience. Thunderclap now coming down. As those Spirit Wolves will get taken down. Alright, Potion of Invulnerability used. Mountain King. Thunderclaps again. Stormbolt onto a Raider. Mountain King at level 5 with mana is absolutely scary. But so is a Torrent Chieftain with mana as well. Torrent Chieftain is going to be able to get a Shockwave off. Gets the Archmage with the Shockwave. Mountain King going to fall. And that is the end of it. Farseer sitting at 6. Torrent Chieftain sitting at 6. And that is the game. Beautiful game between Infi and Lin right there. Showcasing... Um, how effective Chain Wave can be. What a great game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.